Hello. You know, creating an intimate and sexual relationship requires a lot of love, a lot of self-love, okay? And that means loving yourself because you don't know what you're doing, loving yourself because you're scared, loving yourself because you don't have all the information around sex and intimacy like your partner has, loving yourself because you... Um, <sighs> You're going through some fears around connecting sexually and you're not really sure what that is all about. Don't beat yourself up, okay? Because when we start to beat ourselves up, when we start to stop loving ourselves, we start to settle. We start to settle for whatever the situation is and it's not going to help us expand in our intimate and sexual relationships. Stay tuned. I'm going to talk more about this. Sisters, this is for you. Hello, this is Liana. Do, 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 do. Nice to be here. Hello to all of you who show up later um, in the in the live. But today I'm here to talk a little bit about creating really deep relationships, really connective relationships with our partners. And in order to do this, not settling for less than, okay? This is one thing that I'm seeing a lot of people settling for settling in their relationship, thinking that this is all there is that's available to them, that they, maybe they're too old, maybe that they that this is this is all that happens in a marriage, that there's no way to change it, that um, there's a lot of fear in being able to express what you really want. Um, there's a lot of hesitancy to express because of again the fear of losing your partner. So I'm going to tell you how you can stop settling, okay? So if you don't know who I am, I'm Leanna Walden. I'm a sexual energy activator and I'm an intimacy and relationship expert. So I get into the deep, deep relationship stuff and I, I work with adventurous people and singles, adventurous couples and singles who want to create extraordinary intimate and sexual lives create loving, big, deep, loving lives with their partner, big, deep relationships. So what I'm seeing a lot of sisters, I'm going to talk to you sisters, is this settling, settling in the relationship for mediocrity, for unsatisfactory situations, for a place where you're just not very happy, you're not very satisfied sexually or intimately or um, uh, uh, resenting your partner for what's going on in the relationship and you don't feel like there's any kind of growth going on. You're just kind of, you've just settled into a place of like, okay, this is the way I guess marriages should be. They just kind of settle and there's no changes or the relationship is supposed to be just like, um, just like this is what happens in a relationship. There's a very strong belief about that, that relationships uh, just settle and there's, 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 that's just the way it happens over long term. But that's absolutely not true. A relationship is a place and there's, there are different kinds of relationships, but let's talk about a relationship that wants to create some adventure, wants to create, wants a, a relationship that is constantly moving and changing and partners are, are, um, supporting each other, loving each other deeply um, exposing vulnerable parts of themselves to each other so that they can learn from each other, so they can learn from themselves, so they can grow as individuals. That's the kind of relationship I'm talking about creating. Okay, So if that's the kind of relationship you would like to have and you're not there, <laughs> um, then listen in because I'm going to give you uh, a really big tip, <laughs> a really big tip, goddesses out there, on how to not settle Okay, because a lot, a lot of um, women I've talked to recently are settling, especially in the bedroom, settling for what they have and thinking that that's it and not sure what to do in order to get something more dynamic, something more creative, something more uh, satisfying and orgasmic. Okay, because th this sexual intimate connection is very deep and very vast and requires 
a lot of, it requires you to work on yourself, requires you to go into yourself, okay? Requires you to to do the work, to find out what's going on for yourself. Now, I I I see all the time people pointing fingers at their partners, okay? So let, let's just pull back from pointing the fingers, okay? And let's just go into ourselves. And here is where the information is, okay? If you are bored or you're finding you're resenting your partner, you're finding that you are not satisfied in the in the connection that you're having, you gotta go in here and what you have to do in any situation with your partner is you have to be radically honest about what's going on, okay? Radically honest. This is the big tip, being radically honest. Let yourself express what you really want in the moment, okay? And that might be, no, I don't want to do that. It's uncomfortable. I'm bored. It's not exciting me. Uh, I just don't want to do this right now. That's the first step, is to be able to say no to what's not working, okay? Once you can say no, then it gives you some room to then, okay, I've said no, or, you know, I've said I don't want that, or I've said that this is not working, okay? So now your partner's heard you, okay? And you can then think about, okay, now what do I want? What do I desire here? What do I... What do I, I need in order for this to, for, for in order for this to work in a different manner? In order that, for in order this to work for me to feel more alive in my body, to feel more connected to my partner. Now you have answers inside of you. We all have the answers in there. We just pile up all of the um, complacency, the settling on top of the answers. So we have to start with being radically honest with our partners, with ourselves. So you may, you may be feeling like this is not working. I am not connected to this person when we're in an intimate situation. I just don't feel connected anymore and I'm, I'm not enjoying this. So don't just go through with it day, you know, time after time and say, well, he needs me to do this. He, you know, this is what we have to do. No, you're not doing it anymore. That's it. Just stop. Just don't. Just fucking stop. <laughs> because if you don't stop, it's like if you keep feeding a fire, you keep throwing wood on that fire, it keeps burning, right? Well, if that, <laughs> I'm not, if this situation just keeps burning in the same way, and you're just like, I don't want this fire anymore. I want to create a new fire. I want to create something different, something that's going to be more dynamic, that's going to create a bigger fire then you have to stop putting the energy into that. And so, no, I don't want to do this anymore. This is not comfortable. This is too short. This is not connective. I want to do something else. What it is, I don't know, but I am going to find out. And you're going to go into yourself and you're going to try to, you know, find out what that desire is inside of there or what that need is and be radically freaking honest about what it is. Okay? We, we have a lot of fear, I know, in exposing these deep vulnerable places, these deep vulnerable feelings that we have because we're afraid of what our partner might do, might feel, um, how they might react, okay? But you are doing this a huge disservice by standing back and not exposing deeply what's going on. When you deeply expose, when you are radically when you are radically honest about what's going on inside of you to your partner, when you are able to like come forth with, this is how I feel, or I don't want this anymore, it's liberating, it's empowering. You will feel it in your being. It's like, okay, I said what I needed to say, and now I have some space to figure out what it is I do want. But until you're radically honest with you, just stop the settling Stop the settling for, okay, well, I guess this is what it should be. This is what he wants. This is what is part of a marriage, and I just have to do this or put up with it. No, you don't. You don't have to put up with anything you want. You don't have to put up with anything at all. You, you, can, you need to find what it is that you want. You need to go in and find out 
those feelings that you have. And so you need to start being radically honest about what the, the, the top feelings are so that you can dig down and, and eventually uncover those, dark, those, those, those deeper places in you. And when you do this, yes, it will be scary because you are likely, and I know for me it was scary when I started to be radically honest in my, in my intimate relationship, in my relationship, radically honest. I would kind of have two choices. Well, my one choice of what I could say is this choice, and this is kind of what I think is kind of a rational way and would probably, he'd feel better if I said this. And then there's this choice as well. It's really like, it's, it's intense and he may, he may, he may just say no or leave me. I don't know what he's going to do, but I'm, and I'm scared to, to say this thing. You have to go this way. Okay. This is the way that's going to open up the possibilities for you in your relationship. And every time I chose the scary way, the way that I had all these preconceptions about what he might do or think and all my fears and all this, if I chose that direction, the, the result, the, the, um, what, what ended up happening, the creation from that point, the way that he reacted was nothing like I expected. It was way better. You know, what the masculine, I'm, not, I'm going to talk about feminine talking to masculine, you know, but it's anybody talking to anybody in a relationship. What we want is radical honesty, please. Okay? I don't want to beat around the bush with, with uh, just uncertainties, um, unhappiness, dissatisfaction. You know, we want to make each other, we want to help, we want each other to be happy as much as possible. We want to do what we can to make that other person happy. But we can't assume we know that. And they can't assume that they know that in us either. So the only way to be clear is to say something, to be radically honest with what you're feeling. And when you get that information from your partner, when you're able to get it or receive it, and when you give it or receive it, you feel it. It's like, wow, okay, this is, this is information. This is what we can work with here. And, and that, well, that may have hurt me a little bit, but now I know. Now I know what's going on. Like, the, you know, for example, the sex has been really boring and I don't know what's really going on and why it keeps going on and on and on like this and I don't know what to do. But now my partner said that it, they, they just are not going to do it like this anymore. We have to do it differently. It's clear. You know, it, when you are radically honest, it's felt. It's an energy that's felt very clearly between partners and it gives each other the opportunity to, to then find solutions that are going to work for you. And it gives you opportunity to open your own being to find other solutions, to find solutions for what you can do, to find feelings that are, gonna, that are going to be connected to, um, to what you really want, what you really desire. Okay? So this is how you create a deeper, intimate, loving, sexual connection with your partner. It is by being radically honest and going through the layers of this radical honesty. It, it, can, it can be piled up with lots of layers if you haven't really been super honest to yourself or your partner for quite a long time. So you just start by a step. Like, okay, I'm going to say this. I'm going to say, and I'm going to say this. And I'm going to say that. And you start to get better at it. <laughs> and I'm really good at it because I know it works. And I feel better. When I feel better, he feels better. He feels way better. And we have way more fun because now he understands what's going on. I am able to open up to new possibilities. He is able to open up to new, to new possibilities as well because we're then in the same, okay, let's see. What are we going to try? Let's try this. Is this working? I'm going to be radically honest. No, it's not working. We have to try something else. It has to be, let's do it like this or let's try this or I'm going to be this way. Right? It's experimentation. Relationships have, have to be some kinds of, some form of experimentation too because you are learning about yourself. You're learning about yourself. And this is just one other point I want to bring up. Um, is that, and some people don't like to hear this, but this is very true. Our intimate partner is a reflection of what is going on with us internally. Okay? Our intimate partner is a reflection of what's going on with us internally. 
So if we're holding back, we're not really exposing what's really going on. We're holding back our fears. We're uncertain. We're scared. We're holding, 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 holding. What, are we, what we're getting in our partner is reflection of holding back. And it will, it will be manifested differently the way that you do it, that, differently in the way that you do it, but it will be a reflection of that holding back, a direct reflection. So when you stop the holding back, when you start being uh, radically honest, when you start showing up and not put up with, with settling, then you start to see that reflection show up in your relationship. Okay. Now, you know, and, 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 and whatever, all sorts of things start to show up because you are putting out your true self, your, your unique self, your, um, your absolute self. This is me. This is what I feel. This is what's going on for me right now. And I support this. Okay. So, uh, just that was just a little window into the energy kind of healing that I work with people. If you want to go deeper, if you want to chat with me about this, I offer free consultation. Get on a call with me. I'm here to help you. I'm here to open you. I'm here for you to help you find deeper loving connection with your partner. That is my ultimate goal for you to find. And within that deep loving connection, you find you know, more deeper intimacy with each other. You find more sexual connection. You find more exploration, right? But loving, loving and trusting and um, radical honesty. So, yes, if you want to get on a call with me, uh, pleasureactivation.com. I will put the link in the in below. Sign up as soon as you can. I ha I'm offering this right now. I would love to have a chat with you. Sign up a uh, time that works for you. And also stay tuned. I'm, I'm going to be starting a woman's program in the next month. So I'm going to be talking more about that, a goddess program. So I think that's going to be really, really uh, opening and revealing and dynamic for women who are ready to really open up and take their sexual beings, their intimate beings, their gorgeous goddess beings to another level. All right. Thank you so much for being here. Thank you for so much for coming in later. If you came in later, I remember do not settle. Do not settle. Okay. Much love. Thank you.